everybody, I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and thanks for joining us for ILTV's Israeli Frenemies, where every week Uli Zaki from the political left and Ari Fuld from the political right enter an in-depth discussion and a lively debate of current events in the Israeli political sphere. Today we have a special edition of the show where we recapture the finest moments and commentary. We have selected a few interesting debates you won't want to miss, so let's hear the best of Israeli Frenemies. So, uh, yesterday, the Supreme Court of Israel uh, ruled in a uh, petition by the uh, municipality of Tel Aviv, uh, the municipality of Tel Aviv-Yafo, where we're broadcasting from. Uh, they appealed against uh, the Minister of Interior Affairs, who would not sign their uh, local uh, legislation, uh, calling for a, a specific uh, arrangement for opening supermarkets and grocery stores on the on Saturdays on Shabbat. In other, words, in other words, they weren't allowed to open up before. No, the, the minister. Not, the minister was supposed to sign an order to make a decision whether to uphold the law. Okay, or here, let it go. here, I think it's. Uh, uh, yeah, but we'll discuss this. The minister is, has to uh, uh, to to approve legislation done by the municipality. He wouldn't. He, he just uh, and and the government itself was supposed to do it. Nobody he had to did make it. a decision. He had to so, make a decision. So so uh, the Supreme Court said four years after they uh, submitted the legislation, the local legislation, the government didn't act. They said if the government doesn't act, then uh, they uphold upheld uh, the legislation by the Tel Aviv municipality, and you have a problem with that. Well, the problem is the problem is twofold. Number one. I don't know if we're going to get into the issue that we've come back as the Jewish people to the land of Israel because there are people who don't care about that, and that's fine. That's their choice to do so. I think everybody I, I feel, cares I feel about it's it. Very, very, it's very painful that only after 69 years we're kind of like um, disconnecting and throwing out what we stand for. I think all of the organizations that are behind such a decision, uh, whether it's Israel Chofshit or whatnot, what one after the other, they're trying to throw the traditions of the Jewish nation out. It's, very, it's sad for me. I'm not angry. It's very sad to me. But in terms of this law, just to be clear that the, uh, the you know, Ari Deri, who comes from the religious party, I would say the non-religious have to thank that man because his not making a decision actually put, it, put this into the Supreme Court. But in any case, the problem that I have is that over the last years, the businesses in Tel Aviv were not keeping to the law. Now, the law might, you, might be it's ridiculous to you. There's a law in Israel no of a law. day of rest. It's in. Sure. It's a, in fact, it's it's a, what we call a so It's one of the basic laws. No, no, it's Israel. not a basic law. It's it's right here. I'll I'll show it's you. not a basic okay, law. Okay, fine. But we have a p number seven. The clause number seven talks about a day of rest, which is 36 hours, and for Jews, it is on the Sabbath. And Shamgar, the head of the court, said very quickly, clearly, that this is a two-faced law. Number one, you know, I'm, I'm shocked. People are against capitalism. This is the one day where they can go home to their families, and enjoy it. No, but getting but the Sabbath out is more important. And allowing people to have free time once a week. Okay, Ari, let me let me uh, um, uh, you know uh, relate to two issues you mentioned. First, you know, as someone, uh, uh, folks who who are watching this uh, show and, and who watch this show uh, regularly know that I'm a person of faith. Uh, I'm a secular Jew, but I'm a person of faith. Um, I respect. I don't, I don't understand that truth. I respect. Said. I'll, 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 maybe in one of our. Um, no, 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 secular person means. I, I will, secular I will, is the opposite I will of. Elaborate, oh, why would you do that? I, I don't think you're secular. I will elaborate. I, I'm a secular in, in the way Israel is um, divided between seculars and religious uh, people. I'm on the secular I don't think community. So. Okay, but you kashered your house for it's Passover. A, it's your, a your house was kosher you're right, for Passover. You're right. That's not But you be Zionism, careful. excuse me, Ari, <laughs> Zionism was not based on. Uh, making this a religious state. The whole notion of Zionism was that the Jewish people are a people amongst people. It's a nationality rather than a religion. Not, We're according, no longer, not according to the Declaration of Independence. According to Herzl, not according Herzl. to Ben-Gurion, Herzl, according Herzl to has everybody. no Jewish descendants. According to the Declaration of Independence. Ari, this is Zionism. This is the basis no, no, of Israel. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold Zionism, on. Ari, Zionism, Ari, Zionism I listen to you. the world. I listen to you very carefully. Now, so in Israel, you have a majority of people who are not religious, who don't, who respect their, their day of rest other, in other ways than you do. 
they drive cars, Correct. they want to have uh, public uh, transportation. This is right. not Iran, this is Israel. Excuse okay? me, nobody's Hold telling on. a private person what to do. Don't call Judaism well, Iran. If I, can't go to the don't, store, don't if I can't go to the grocery store, if I can't go, Jewish law, Iran. if I can't go, yeah, it is, you it's a religious Jewish law. law is Iran? What Iran did is took the Islamic do law, made it into the Judaism state law. is compared I think, to radical I think Islam? The, I think laws cannot be based on religion, they have Uri. to be based on the decision Uri, of the people. Did you compare Hold Judaism on. to Iran? Ari, and what you said about the law, Yes. You know, as you know, I'm a I'm, uh, uh, jurist. Yeah, I have uh, two law degrees. Um, what from you where, said from, just where, from where your law degrees? From the Hebrew uh, University and? And, and the Administrative uh, uh, College. And very respectful, respectful Well, the Administrative uh, College, we're talking politically, but okay, go ahead. What? What, what? What, was, what was the law degree in the second one? Was in, in law. Which one? LLM. <laughs> Ari. Hold on, I, I don't know what you're talking about, okay. but uh, the law in Israel, the, there's a law called the certification law. The certification law says that each municipality has the ability to rule on itself which businesses will be open and will not be open according to its decision, and the Minister of Interior Affairs has to sign that law. Now, right. we are talking so about only the Tel Aviv. Are, we're talking about no, Uri, every, Uri, Uri, every Uri, business. Uri, Uri, you just Uri, don't know the, Uri, the law. No, 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 no. I have and a law right in front the, of me. The Tel, Aviv, the Tel Aviv city yes. is a free city of people who don't share your religious views. They are Israelis. They are patriotic. Part of the they want state. to have the, right. The Jewish state is not Iran state. It's Why not. Why could you keep we on comparing are, because, Judaism because to there's Islam. only one. Do you think there's Judaism? only one Uri, religious that's a second time. republic Do in the world, believe, and that's Iran? And don't believe, make us into do you Iran. Believe Judaism is comparable to Islam. I think Islam? that any religion cannot rule a national state. The national so state you has to be. Judaism. Well, I understand. You I believe. I am very much for. This year, we're going to be celebrating a very, very happy time. It's 50 years since Israel liberated Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the Golan Heights. And the government of Israel is putting, a budge, putting budget into the celebration of 50 years of liberating these lands. It is truly miraculous. You know, years ago, uh, before we had Israel, the state of Israel, our forefathers, our grandparents, great-grandparents, did not speak about Tel Aviv, although it's a very important city. They spoke about Hebron, and they spoke about Nablus, and they spoke about the Golan Heights, where the, where the Tanaim, the people in the Mishnah and, the, and Tamug studies were there. They didn't speak about Haifa, they didn't speak about Tel Aviv, although, again, very important cities. And this year, miraculously, biblically unbelievable, we are now going to be celebrating the liberation of these places where Jews have come home from all four corners of the earth. And it's truly, I feel blessed about this. I know that you don't, Uri, but it's truly an amazing, amazing miracle. Again, 2,000 years, we didn't cry over Tel Aviv. We cried over Jerusalem. We cried over Judea and Samaria and the Golan Heights. It's really beautiful that we're able to celebrate that now. And it's 50 years, amazing, amazing time. So first of all, um, before I dive into the issue itself, I think, you know, in Israel, this is the dividing line in Israel, the political dividing line, the, the attitude towards the occupied territories. I disagree. And, I don't think it's a dividing line. Uh, I think it's. I think uh, what it, we're doing here is a dividing line. Uh, it's a it's a dividing line, and that's the political uh, uh, watershed, I would say, between right and left in Israel, uh, whether it's occupied territories or liberated territories. And for the government to put uh, public uh, resources in celebrating something that is so divisive, I think first of all that's very well. Very let me bad. give you some numbers. Seventeen billion hold dollars. On, hold of on, hold debt. on, hold on. But Seventeen I'll... billion dollars of debt have gone to the kibbutz movement. What have they given the country? Seventeen. What have they billion? given to the country? I asked you that. Yeah. The kibbutz movement. Yes. Founded this country, perhaps? No, no, no. That's not what I asked you. The kibbutz movement. The kibbutz was... movement founded this country. Seventeen founded this billion country. dollars. But before we get to the kibbutz scene, now, billion, now, ten billion now, shekels. I, I think, about? I think it's crazy, because in my mind, as an Israeli, uh, as a left-wing Israeli, as a left-wing Israeli, and I, I, I bear that with honor. I bear that with honor, and Israeli patriot. Who How fears can you be a We want to take pictures out of Israel. Who fears the uh, future of this country to celebrate the ongoing occupation of two and a half million Uri, people? Jews the came back to their homeland. The biggest existential where, threat where are you? on the state your of Israel your is the occupation. Your great grandfather is a continuation of the occupation. Or your great grandfather did not talk about Tel Aviv. He spoke about Hebron. And how I could you call? Very much, how very could much. you call Jews coming back to Judea? Judea, an occupation. I don't understand. Ari, the Zionism question. is about sovereignty, 
It's not about the land. It's not about religion. Zionism is about sovereignty. It's about, about, no, no, it's no, about no. the national movement. No, Zionism and, is, no. And if the Uri, land is more important than the, Uri, than the state, then we are doomed. Your definition is wrong. Zionism is the movement of Jews Excuse coming me? back. Yeah. Read Herzl. Read the Declaration read of Independence. Read Ben Gurion. Read, read it. Read it. The Declaration Does of Independence. Does it speak about Jews, Judea and Samaria? It talks about the land of Israel, not the state Fine. of Israel. I'm, I, I you just said the land. the land of Israel. It doesn't say. It says the land of Israel, where the state of Israel was created on the land of right. Israel. I'm asking you again. If if Hebron, you think Jews but it's occupied. Uri, You're Uri, not giving the people Uri, their, their rights. And if you will, Uri, then it will question for you. a Jewish state. Let me, all right, we are Occupied, fine. Can I ask you a question? We, I, I'm yeah, two and a half million people Uri, with Uri, no you're, national you're fabricating history. Determination. You're fabri we never occupied any of those areas from the Palestinians. What does it matter? It, so then, don't say we did. But we never you, did. No, we're, this did is we ever an occupy? Ongoing, did we, Uri, did we ever occupy Hebron from the Palestinians? There is an ongoing military did we occupation. Ever, did we that ever, doesn't matter. Did we ever? It has no. So what? So don't fabricate history. I'm not fabricating. Did the we occupation ever, is ongoing. Did we ever, it's not the conquering did we ever that matters. occupy that land from the Arabs? We keep occupying it because we don't, we're, Uri, we're governing answer the question. two when, and a half million Uri, people, give me the year. not giving no, them no. their rights, okay. and we're controlling them two through Two and a half million arms. people are under the PA, not under Israel, number one, but that's not the oh, point. Oh, come on. The PA, the is, PA is a municipal union minus minus. Well, then you don't want to give them sovereignty. You shouldn't they give don't them control the Uri, borders. Uri, they don't control. If, then you shouldn't want to give them more power, but that's not the point. You're fabricating history. No, no. My question, I think Uri, they should be Uri, a state. My question is the following. What year did Israel occupy any of those lands from the Palestinians? Give me the year. The Palestinian people of, Give me the year. Of, You're calling an occupation of, the of West land. Bank when live under Israeli military Uri, occupation you are deflecting since the question. June 67. No, incorrect. That I'm occupation Uri, is immoral. The, Uri, it's I'm, non democratic and it's non Jewish. All right, can I ask you a question again? Sure. What year did Israel occupy those areas from the Palestinians? It doesn't matter. Of course it does. It occupies so the Palestinians. Say, so they didn't occupy the land then? What do you mean? Did they it occupy? It, it did took, Jews occupy Jerusalem those, from the Palestinians? It took those areas which do were the Palestinians under, have a national right? under Jordanian. Do the Palestinians Jordanian? have a national right? Of course they do. Based on what? Based on, uh, on self-determination. They, Based they on are what? a people. So what? So give it back to the Jordanians then. I'm asking you a question. Don't deflect. Based on what do they so have what, a national what, right? What is your solution? Two and a half Whoa, million people. So first of all, I'm very happy that you asked that question. Two and a half million people with no I'm rights. I'm very happy you asked that question. Whenever someone on the left is asking me, what's your solution? I understand perfectly well. They understand that their solution is null and void. Oh, no way. Okay? Uri, no way, because you don't have Uri, a solution. The question is, Not again, a democratic one, I don't need a solution. When oh, I, you don't need a let solution. Let me explain to you. When I go into the hospital and the doctors say, well, we'll just cut off arms because we don't have a solution, First, stop, stop cutting, cutting off cutting arms. Stop cutting off arms. Stop cutting off arms, and then we'll discuss the problem. You can't define. You don't the have problem. a solution. No, no, no. I'm going to say it again. You haven't defined. What the is problem. your solution? What, so, you, what do you do we, with so two and a half million people explain, again with no rights? So I'll answer the question. So um, this week in Israel, um, the, there is a public holiday of the, the Jerusalem Day, commemorating the unification of uh, the city. Um, I should say that I'm, I'm not celebrating that uh, public holiday. I believe that Jerusalem has never been um, united, at least not since uh, 67. Um, but I don't want to cling to uh, what I think. Uh, we heard the president of Israel this week, uh, a true believer in United Jerusalem, a true right-winger who believes in the greater Israel, who said we cannot celebrate the Jerusalem Day as long as the Palestinians are not treated he equal. He can't celebrate Jerusalem Day. He said that the, the celebration is not full and I'm not going to okay. rejoice okay. Because, the, gonna, because the Palestinians, that's hurry, what he said. Hurry. He said we can't Fine. fully rejoice, I understand. Okay, okay. He, he said, said that's what he said. And he said, and he said, because the Palestinians are uh, not treated equally in the city and are in poverty. And last week, you said you, you, everybody's equal, and you told me, bring digits, bring data. So I brought some data. 40% of Jerusalem are Palestinians, okay, of the population of Jerusalem are Palestinians living in, mostly in East Jerusalem, or whole, all of them live in East Jerusalem. 76% of the Palestinians live below the poverty line. In Israel, we're talking about. We're talking about only in those areas. You're talking about in all, uh, all of all the only the Palestinians in the East Jerusalem, only in the Palestinian neighborhoods. Seventy-six okay. percent out of the children, the Palestinian children in Jerusalem, almost eighty-four percent 
are below the poverty line. I'll, co I'll continue. There are 2,000 missing classrooms in East Jerusalem. Where, where's this information from? I'd like to buy. This, this, is the, this is the information from Ir Amim, which is a... Uh, Excuse is me. A? The president of Israel is, is Hold accepted on. it. Hold on. Let, let me finish. Just tell me the sources. It's a left-wing you know, organization. A very serious left -wing NGO. organization. Fine. Okay. So what? Left wing can, can I want to know where the numbers are from. These are from real them. numbers. From them. It's real numbers. From a left-wing organization. Okay. Only four welfare centers in East Jerusalem to 19 in West Jerusalem. Okay. And again, 40% okay. of Jerusalem uh, okay. are Palestinians. Mm -hmm. Good. And there's, this is something that is not for them. This is from Channel 10 this week. No trash collection in the big neighborhoods of uh, East Jerusalem that are uh, behind the wall. There's a wall. The, the viewers should know that. Although there's a wall. There's a wall. Uh, Shoafat is behind the wall. Some of the East Jerusalem neighborhoods Shoafat, that are part Shlomo, that are part there. of the municipal area really, of Jerusalem. No there. there is a wall. No, I yeah. travel there every day. Okay. Ramat Shlomo is right next door. There's no wall there. Oh, look. Uh, and if there's a wall, they're under the PA, not under Israel. It's under Israel municipal. No it's under Jerusalem there municipal. No municipal. There is a wall. No, no. There is. Look, Ari, you can't do that. You can't I, come I'm here there, and say I'm there every day. A, I, what are you talking about? about? It's the Jewish neighborhood is right next to. There's no wall. And if Shuafat there's a wall, where is there's a, a wall? Shuafat, okay. so let me let me answer your. He's a refugee camp. It's behind a wall. Okay. And you know what? Next week, I'll bring photos. Let me let me let me answer your claims. That first of all, number one. Okay, number one, the Arabs in Jerusalem are called residents of Jerusalem. They refuse Palestinian citizenship. And what we're going to speak no about, Palestinian, Palestinian, listen to no me for a state. second, they were offered to become... There's no Palestinian state. Let me please finish my sentence. They were offered to become Palestinian citizens and residents of Jerusalem. They refused that because they want Israeli citizenship. The demand for Israeli citizenship by those Arabs, by the way, is up triple. Okay, so if you're talking about such horrible, horrible situations... These are the numbers. Listen to me, you're from a left-wing organization. Listen to me. No, it, these listen, are the numbers from, a left -wing organization. from the Israeli let me finish my sentence, Statistic please. Bureau. Two, two minutes, three minutes, let me speak. If the situation is so horrible, why are they refusing their national citizenship and begging for Israeli citizenship? They don't have a, they don't have a state. What are they you talking were, about? Again, they were offered PA citizenship. There's no the such thing There's as no PA, PA citizenship. No. no. The PA is not a sovereign. What, he can't bring citizenship. The PA is not controlling the, 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 the Arabs and Judeans. The PA is an administrative body and they which receive, cannot... They there receive, is no such thing. Three, no, but receive, don't, 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 don't tell our viewers three, things that don't three, exist. Three, There's three, no three. such thing. Because there's no Palestinian state. Let me finish. Let me I, I won't. No, I won't let you. Okay. They distort have. They have reality. They have ID cards. National ID cards belong to the PA and not Israel. But they live under Israeli they, sovereignty. Again, not under, under listen to what PA. I'm telling you. The people in Jerusalem were offered that. They said no. They want Israeli they, citizenship. They never offered that. It's, they were it's offered false. That. And I'll, and it's I'll, false because I'll Israel would not or, 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 disunite Jerusalem. Right? Let me finish this when, when was it? When so was I, it offered? I will bring it in for you. Please. Bring yes, bring next week, bring it in. In terms of the Arabs in Jerusalem, they're giving residents of Jerusalem. The PA was let me finish was my kicked sentence out of Jerusalem. Wow. What are you talking about? The Orient House. Because because Israel regards. Hold on. East Jerusalem is part of Israel. Hold on. Al Husseini was in the Orient House. A man who was who was advocating but for there's terrorism. no way for, Je Stop. for Jerusalem, okay. Jerusalem okay. Arabs to receive me, uh, Israeli let citizenship. Let me answer your claims. Oh, or uh, let Palestinian let me, let me uh, answer your claims, cards. please. Let me answer your claims. Put into account who owns a house. Put into account their property management, which you're not putting into account. Put into account their taxes, which you're not putting into account. The Arabs and the residents of Jerusalem. Are So the footage we see here is of uh, the um, uh, mythical, I would even say in Israeli terms, uh, Channel One uh, news uh, edition called Mabat, uh, Glance. Legendary. Uh, legendary, uh, mythical, yeah. Mythical, even fake. Yeah, well, you meant okay, real. all right, I'm legendary. Sorry, okay. Thanks, thanks for the, the correction. I was um, people might not think it's real. It's a real it was a real channel. It was a real channel, was broadcasting for 49 years, since 68. Uh, uh, in a time where most of the, the time it... Uh, was broadcasting, there was only one channel, and that's, that is the uh, uh, Israeli uh, um, governmental uh, or, or uh, public channel, channel uh, something like uh, uh, PBR, but um, with, with, uh, with the uh, uh, state funding. And now there was a change, uh, uh, it, it, uh, it closed down, but while it was uh, closing down and switching into a corporation, uh, the prime minister uh, got involved, uh, twisted the whole process 
forming one uh, news corporation in the, uh, uh, within the other corporation. I don't want to, um, you know, well, uh, confuse our, our viewers overseas. Well, it's important to people understand. Channel One was a state channel. In other words, it was being paid by the, by the state of Israel, and it had extremely, extremely low ratings. Now, there's a tax that people have to pay to Channel One. And I guess uh, the prime minister says, you know what? Nobody watches the channel. There's but, no reason to pay this channel to, anymore. Let's close it down. But he, he did not do that. He did that in his former coalition. In this coalition, he tried to stop closing it down and tried to, and eventually, eventually what was his argument? That he wants to control the corporation, the no, new corporation. No, that was not his argument. And, and he, no, 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 and Uri, he achieved do it. No, 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 Uri, by, Uri, Uri, Uri. But hold on. Uri, before, Uri, before Uri, Uri, no, 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 did Bibi Netanyahu ever say he wants to control the, the, the foundation? Well, his uh, uh, minister of uh, cultural affairs did say that. What did he say? She said that uh, what, what's worth to have a, a news corporation if we can't control it? No, and no, his, no, no, no. Uri, and Uri, his Uri, whip, Uri, and Uri. his whip of the coalition also Uri, said Uri, similar listen, things. We can argue about whether it's very sad people losing their jobs. But that's a fact. Netanyahu never said he wanted to take control but of his, the news. But his, come on, his minister. No, his minister didn't say that. She said, said if if we if we uh, can't if control state, the corporation, if it's a state, what is it worth? It's if state, it's, but it's not political. Again, listen. To me. But hold on, yeah. uh, uh, Ari. I think we, we're we're Go going into details that some of our viewers uh, from overseas don't even. Uh, share, you know, it's a big deal here in Israel, but it's not. Sorry, my uh, Go earphone got in, got out. Um, it's not. Uh, but the thing is that you see, uh, with what's happening here, you you see that the Israeli media is very concerned about uh, the growing interference of Netanyahu in uh, uh, news coverage uh, in Israel and in media outlets in Israel. He already controls. A uh, newspaper owned by Sheldon Adelson. He admitted it. He admitted it. He did not now he wants to control anything. this. Uh, this this uh, uh, last week also uh, 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 Channel 20, which was supposed to be a uh, uh, tradition heritage channel and became a kind of an Israeli Fox News. Uh, very uh, uh, Netanyahu is there. Uh, you know. You the, see, this is the his, problem. His Uri, idol Uri, this also is the controls problem. now. Let me, let me just on, one Uri. one. And now is going to be the Knesset uh, channel as well. Uri, something Uri, like, this is the problem. This is what I see the problem is. Like C-SPAN. When just things before. don't go... So the Netanyahu would, would control the Israeli C-SPAN. Okay, so what happens when things don't go the left-wing way, they're screaming all kinds of, you know... You Why know, is it left? I'll explain to you. I'll explain to you one free second. Free media say, is left? No, it's not. It's still free media. That's exactly no, what it's I'm... it's not. Again, Uri, this is what I'm talking about. When it doesn't go the way, when the, when the media is not backing up the left-wing, you know, point of view... All of a sudden, it's dictatorship. It's like Turkey. It's like this. It's like that. In America, they call it Trump Hitler. This is the way it works. Listen to me. Netanyahu the way it works. The, the, the no, 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 no. This is the way. The no, this is the way. This is the way the left generally reacts when things don't go their way. Netanyahu does not own anything. Not. 20 and not the paper, nothing. It's true that the person who owns the paper likes Netanyahu. That is true, and that's fine. He's allowed to have a political opinion. In terms of the paper itself, though, he has no, he no hands on it. He doesn't own it. He doesn't have any money into it. Nothing. The fact that it's pro Netanyahu or pro right he, is he not a sin. He negotiated in terms with of, the chief editor, uh, uh, excuse me, with the publisher of Yediot Achono, the competing okay. paper, on what will be. Uh, published or not published in Israel Ayom, that paper Again, that, he, they tried. Uh, now, that he's not controlling. This is the funny thing. The left talks about democracy and free speech, but then they try to shut down a newspaper because he's Nobody pro tried to shut down, Please, by the way. They tried to shut they it down, tried, and they, they failed. Tried, they said that it can't be a freebie because this, Why can't it be a freebie? this paper right now is just a way pro to finance Netanyahu. pro Netanyahu with, without charging its readers nothing. What's the problem? I don't know. What's the problem? So why, why shouldn't they uh, try I'm to... Asking, I don't want to shut it down. What's the problem? That wraps up this edition of Israeli Frenemies. Thanks for watching and tune in for our next episode of Israeli Frenemies with Uri Zaki and Ari Fuld. <laughs>